Hey, hey, Tony guys are here popping on in. I listen. <laughs> I'm doing the How Did She Get Married series. And a few of y'all, I seen a few of y'all was like, thank you. You know, this series, yeah, I done learned some things. So I'm doing this for y'all. Now, I really, it's not that deep, so I don't got no bunch of parts to it. But I had to block a couple of. I had to block a couple of idiots. You know that's always gonna happen. The devil always gonna show his, you know, ugly head. And this is the thing what you gotta realize about this is when you talking to one side, so if I'm giving this insight to women, some women get in their feelings because they thinking about the other side. But if you use common sense, then you understand the other side of this is left out because it's talking to women. It ain't talking to men. And then when it's talking to men, the other side get left out. And so this is why we as adults in our society, we so remedial to where men will be see a video for men and be like, oh, talk to the women. Women see a video for women and be like, oh, talk to the men. And it's like, come on now. You got to get out that one classroom with them three PEs. And it's like, because the Lord, the people who need to be in there, we praying for them and we love on them because that's where they need to be. That's where they supposed to be at. That's what the Lord have for them. And we love them. We don't look down on them. When you was not supposed to be in there and you choosing to be in there. And you not just in the class all day. You got a helmet on in, in with your three PEs. And it's like, come on now. You as a grown adult. We got to get better than that. So this led to this series because the series is about done. But then when I seen a couple of, you know, so in souls, I say, let me go and do another series, another part of the series. And let me tell you what this part of the series is. How did she get married? She stopped listening to her friends who don't know nothing about men. And she started listening to what a man say about men. Now, I know it sounds biased. I know it sounds biased, but think about it. I want you to really think about this. It was a lady, Jezebel Spirit, had all her breasts out. She in the comments talk about, yeah, see, I'm finna keep listening to somebody. She said somebody name. And it's a couple of y'all that asked me about a couple of different ladies. What you think about this? What you think about this lady, that lady? Listen, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. And one lady got mad when I said this. Because she, again, she did not listen. One of the things most women do not do is listen. You know why the army was started with just men? Because men is simple-minded. And that's disrespect to men. But, I'm gonna but I call it like I see it. Men is simple-minded. So the army say we need us somebody that is going to stand in line and holler and march and do what we say do for a check and some benefits. Oh, sign the men up. So when we talk to men, men is out here getting the game from lames and they listening to it without arguing. Do you see the way it's a lot of men was worshiping the man who died, the man who used to sit in the dark with the thing spinning on his desk and he died? And then it's another guy. Uh, it's a, a tall, light-skinned guy. He's not black, though. And he now in trouble for the man in the dark, Kevin Samuels. This other man... Uh, the tall, light-skinned guy, and, uh, Andrew Tate. I think his name Andrew, but I know, I feel like his last name Tate. He in trouble. These men, here you got two single men. 
not married, not married, and they giving men the game. They giving men the game, and these men ain't arguing. These men ain't going back and forth. They listening to lames, and they arguing. But then here you got a married man, and you got married men, other than me, giving the game to women, and women want to argue. It's like, and then women not only want to argue, they want to say, we can go listen to this Jezebel woman. Woo. Y'all know I really don't laugh on my video, but that's what I'm right there. Tickle me. How, how you finna go listen to oh Bolly Wop Head Woman who don't got a clue what she talking about? These women. The one lady got mad at me because she talking about her sister on TikTok with over 80,000 followers. And she giving marriage advice. But her sister been married 20 years. Ma'am, I'm not talking about your sister. Hush and listen to what I just said. I'm talking about these bollywop head women who can't sniff a man and be on here giving advice to women about how to get a man. But what they be talking about, and I don't know the women's name, and I don't watch their channel. Because I could look at how they look and tell you they don't know nothing about no man. I could look at how they look and tell you. Because y'all done sent me some of them before. And I'm like, listen, I'm telling I have not seen one woman online that do not got a man that know what she talking about. And the ones who got a man... <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this. If they giving advice, they man either got an okay head. They man either got the okay head or they man is in the same ministry with them. Because a man do not want his woman other than the exception to the rule. You're going to have some exception to the rule. Two or three. But a man do not want his woman online talking about relationships. You know why? Because when the what you talk about is where you get tested. What you talk about is where you're going to be tested. What's up, son? Yeah. What you come talking about the game? Three, three, two, two. So the end of the time? Both the game time was two legs. So they're going to play another game. And then they're going to See this kid? Columbus Crew Academy. He dribbled through seven players to end up scoring this goal. Yeah, that was seven. Wow. That's disgusting. <laughs> hey, you got to be able to do that, boy. I don't even know how you did that. Hey, yeah. all that. Right. My oh, boy got the green light. Hey. Uh, and so, this is the thing. Men, when, what you talk about, that's where you're going to be tested at. And you got to understand that. So, even with me talking about this, man, the devil be always in my head trying to get me to mess my relationship up. But I understand it. I understand the warfare. I understand why it's there. See, a lot of people talking and don't understand it. Me and my wife were talking today. She was telling me about um the brand Kills sent some influencers to Finland. I was like, man, listen, we need to start us a couple's channel and uh start influencing somebody then. So we get us a free trip. And I was just joking. And I don't know if she knew I was joking. We was on text message. She was like, she was like, yeah. She was like, but everybody who started a couple's channel end up going through a divorce. She like, seem like everybody who do couple content go through a divorce. And I say, exactly. I say channel or podcast because what you want to talk about and showcase, and it's really because a lot of times business don't go with love. It's like when you do this here video, a lot of people don't understand. 
spirits are real and the devil is real. So whatever you talking about, whatever you doing, you opening up a spiritual channel. See, when you doing something that is setting captives free, when you doing something that's bringing love, that's bringing joy, what's all that they're doing? When you doing something like that, you upsetting the devil. So what he gonna do? He's gonna unleash his minions, his demons, to come and attack you, to knock you off your pivot, so that you can't continue to set the captives free. That's that's why the devil had them. Y'all got to forgive. I'm about to call up my grandma. Call them naughty head women, and that don't mean they were black, but they were. And in my comments, trying to knock me off my pivot to get me to, oh, don't talk about that. Because I understand it's one-sided because I'm talking to one side. But what I was talking about, what people had a, a misunderstanding is, is what I was trying to say is the same way a woman sees sex as a chore, that's the same way a man may see cleaning the house as a chore. Whereas the woman may be like, how can you see cleaning your own house like a chore? But the man may see that like a chore. The man may see, that's why, I, and I said that, and it wasn't really literal. But it's a lot of times to where my young son, when he was younger, he don't really bother me now. But when he was younger, I'm sitting down, I'm tired from dealing with y'all comments. Or working, I'm providing a living. And my son will come, daddy, you want to come play? In that moment. Even though this is my son and I love him and I would do anything for him in that moment, it feels like a chore. But I got to get up, put a smile on and go do it. And my wife, she she don't want to get up and go play. She'll look at me. She'd be trying not to laugh because she know I'm tired. I'm relaxing. Think about it. Because some of y'all parents, y'all know. And, and you and we have all probably been guilty of. Not right now, you know, mommy not feeling good, daddy not feeling good, you know, just, just play on your phone or go play with your sister, go play with your brother. Not right now. We probably all have been guilty of it and I've done it and, it, and just thinking about it, it, it break my heart. But that's the parallel what I was trying to draw of it. Sex may feel like a chore to a wife, but when she turned her husband down, it break a piece of his heart. Because the same way that little child want to come play with his daddy, it's the same way that grown man want to play with his wife. And when she say, no, not right now, a little piece of them break inside. And then when she do that over and over and over. So that was the point. But some of the Bollywood tried to turn it into like a uh, molehill into a mountain. Oh, so you trying to say how a woman feel don't matter. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> y'all, y'all hush and, and be quiet. Hush and be quiet. So listen to me. I'm going to tell you like this right here. This how she got married. She stopped listening to women who don't know what they talking about. That don't mean she stopped listening to women all together. Because some women know what they talk about. Not really online. But it's some women know what they talk about. And they're going to give you some game. But a lot of women, they're going to tell you wrong. And you know how I know? Because I am sharing in this series. I will be honest with y'all. I will be some be honest with y'all right now. What I done shared in this series. If you miss part one, two, and three, go back and watch it. It is the most elementary thing to me. It is the most elementary thing to me. It get way deeper. It gets so many layers, but women can't even handle, a lot of women can't even handle this elementary walk through a man's mind. Can you imagine if I went deep? And so, but even with this basic level information that I'm giving as a man, being transparent, women are in the comments saying, Tony, wow, I learned so much. Man, this is good. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. 
there's not a dialogue, a healthy dialogue between the sexes that's healthy, that's coming from qualified sources, people who are married and faithful and been doing it for over a decade and then opening up and talking about it. There's not enough qualified sources. It's a lot of single people running their mouth about dating and all they creating is fatherless homes and STDs. That's it. They creating fatherless homes and STDs. And these women who is misleading y'all with this demonic Jezebel spirit telling y'all you need an older man. You need a man who he going to pay for everything. You need a man who he going to work 40 hours and then he going to come home and also wash dishes or cook dinner. And you need this basically telling you you need a sucker. Basically telling you you need a dummy. You need a man with no backbone. You need a man who he don't want nothing but sex. He ain't got no wishes and no like no real purpose and meaning to like all he wants is sex. That what you need. That what they telling you. That what they telling you. That basically open your legs or Keep your legs closed and finesse so you could be took care of financially. Now what y'all hear, I ain't even got to go watch it to know what y'all hearing. Because when those of y'all who listening to these idiots come in the comments, I already know what you're being told. Because I already know that you're bap backwards. Bolly whopping. I already know it. Because I could tell by your attitude and your energy because it already let me know that you done tripped on your big toe and hit your head when you come in the comments arguing with a married man who been married 17 years telling you what a man look for in a wife who do this every single day with men on six different continents who talk to husbands every day and telling you what men look for in a wife. And you in the comment going back and forth. But single as a dollar bill. That's what let me know right there. You already turned over to a reprobate mind. That what let me know. You ain't got no sense. Like a broke piggy bank. That what let me know. So the thing about it is. When you over here on this channel. When you don't agree. But you ain't got the pedigree. Hush. And let the people who come to glean something, let them get what they come for. And you hush and stay out the comments. Or go start you a Bolly Whopping channel. So you could give that terrible advice that do not yield no fruit. Don't nobody want to be eating them apples with worms in it. Don't nobody want that terrible advice. It's like, listen, ma'am, it's a lady coming in the comment, ma'am, I can already tell by how much gel. And here go another, oh, I done seen you getting your feeling. I ain't in my feeling. I ain't in my feeling. I just tell it like I S E L. Ma'am, you got too much gel in your house. You got too much gel in your house. You, you got another 12 hours for you be. Stay out the comments. Stay out the comments with all that gel. Stay out the comments. Lady in the comments ain't have, had all her breasts out. Talking about she finna go listen to somebody. Somebody. His name start with an S. And I'm like. I could tell by that hideous. All your cleavage out shirt you got on that the one that woman you listen to is leading you to hell in a handbasket with with a gasoline g strong on g string on.
I can already tell. Because if you on the internet with a shirt like that, this ain't the club. This ain't the script club. What is you doing on the internet with that as your headshot? Hush. And let us conduct productivity over here. So listen to me. This is the thing. It's people who can speak into your life who don't have what you want. But they speaking from the Holy Spirit. Example, Apostle Paul. People always try to say, Paul was single. <laughs> Paul was not on his own recognizance. And I don't know if that's the verb, but we're going to use it. Paul was instructed by God. And if you don't believe it, sit down and look at the books of the Bible that Paul wrote. I was told he wrote 13 books of the Bible. I, and I think my daddy told me that, but I could have a number wrong. So we're going to go to Google just to verify. And, and y'all, stop when I say a word going to Google and Googling it and then putting it in the comments. Because I be done Google it too. And y'all be just copying and pasting what Google say. How many books of the Bible? Somebody done searched it. Did Paul or 13 or 14 are traditionally attributed to Paul. Now, that's just in the bold font up there at the top. How are you going to say 13 or 14? It's like, is it 13 or 14, huh? My goodness. And then most scholars believe that Paul actually wrote seven of the 13 Pauline epistles. Pauline. See, y'all get beside y'all self. You see what I'm saying? People still, the people, these people still don't even be knowing what they be talking about. I done read 10 different answers. The 13 books. That's so that's what my daddy told me a long time ago. The 13 books written by Paul. So I want you to go to these books. Look up the books written by Paul. And this is what I want you to understand. It, it, so this, and this is what I'm telling you. If you are single and you want to give marriage advice and you claiming to hear from God the way Paul did, then God will use you to be able to write 13 books, uh, your own book, because you can't add to the Bible. God will give you 13 books. Because God don't play. Because God don't play. God going to be different. God going to be set apart. God going to be, you're not going to be able to mistake the presence of God. So it's not to say that nobody who's single or somebody who divorced or somebody who whatever can't, or somebody who broke can't give you financial advice, but it's got to come from God. Otherwise, it's just the experience. It's just coming from experience. Which all of us speaking from experience. So if you listen to somebody and you know it's coming from experience, make sure they have the experience you want to have. So it's like if you listening to how if you listening to a woman about a man, but most of the men you meet are deceivers and manipulators. What do you think that woman got that you listening to? She got deceived and manipulated. And I'm going to tell y'all how I found this out. It's because I played the game. I was a deceiver, a manipulator, a liar, a womanizer, a cheater. So me as a man who played the game in the worst way, and I know the game, I listen to women talk. I've listened to some women talk online, giving relationship advice, and it be wrong. It be terrible. It be terrible. But then, too, also, sometimes it be good advice, but the woman don't understand a man. So I'm listening, and I'm like, yeah, is that sound good? But that's going to get one of these women ate alive. 
that's going to have a lot of these women as living as slaves. That's going that advice that you give him is going to get a woman ran slap over. See the thing about it is is you got to understand the nature of a man. So that's why and the type of advice may be like about praising a boyfriend or something like that or or doing too much for the husband. And when I say doing too much, I mean like it's women out here that say don't check a man's phone. Don't check your husband's phone. Or that's your phone too. Just like your phone is his phone. Y'all married. You won. It's women who talk because you don't know what you're going to find. Okay, if you find something, that's your other half. If you find something, then it got to get addressed. And it got to get dealt with. Ain't no... This, this is what they be saying. Basically, they saying do this. Basically, they saying do this. Right here. No, no, that ain't how we getting down. We ain't getting down like that. We ain't getting down like that. Y'all got to forgive me. Cause I ain't come to think now. I've been out here, out here at the soccer field today. I'm out here looking like a little five-year-old with the email. And that's bad advice. And so if I'm going to give a woman advice as a man, I'm also taking into consideration that a lot of men are like sharks in the water. And if we smell blood, true, it's a done deal. You finna be lunch. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Whereas a woman, she just operating from a woman and she thinking about being feminine and she thinking about submission and she thinking about those things, but she not understanding that majority of men that women are dealing with are not like her husband. And so she will fail to realize that it's prerequisites. So when I share something, I would tell a woman, hey, don't do this before he do this. Or don't do this if he do this. Or the man should be leading in love and then you reciprocate. But don't, don't reciprocate 100 for 50. You reciprocate 50 for 50. Because if you give a man 100 and all he gave you is 50, you finna get used. Now he finna use you and he finna go find another 50. And another woman that allow him to get her 50. Instead of expecting and demanding 100. If you gonna give 100. And so that's where the holes will be left in. And then these women, they will go and tell you, okay, get this kind of man, get that kind of man, do this, do that. And it's about... It's fake femininity. femininity. Some women teach in real femininity, but it's but femininity has nothing to do with seducing a man, have nothing to do with playing a man, have nothing to do with getting a man who's going to take care of you financially. That ain't about what femininity is to a man. And so what they be trying to explain to women about what type of man to get, what they don't realize is the type of man that these women telling y'all that y'all gonna get or that you need to get and what you need to do. These type of men, yeah, they got money. Yeah, they'll pay for everything. Yeah, they'll do this and that, but they also on Epstein Island. They also are the type of man that's having P. Diddy parties. And they the type of man on Epstein Island. They the type of man that touch kids. They the type of man that sleep with their cousins. It's that type of man. It's the type of man that's getting... Angeline rammed in them. That's what you got to realize because a heterosexual man of integrity is not finna be no simp. What people don't even be understanding what they mean by simp. A good man is not a simp. A good man still gonna stand on business. He's still gonna have requests, requirements, expectations, principles, standards. He's still gonna have a budget. He's still gonna know the word no. You still going to hear no. You still going to have to respect the word submission. A good man going to have some standards of his own and some expectations of his own. And he's not just finna be opening his wallet and licking the bottom of your feet because you got a nice booty and a flat stomach and you know how to give some fellatio. That ain't how this thing go. And that's what one woman told me. Oh, so basically what you're saying, a woman get married because of her looks. And how much she put out. Did somebody say, did you not listen to the video? He said, that's how some women get married. 
with their looks and putting out. But then he talked about the other women who don't have to put out to get married, who don't got to play a man with just sex to get married. But the lady hadn't listened to it. But then she went, like, yeah, I watched the whole video. No, you didn't. You was out there patting that glue in your head and, and trying to pull that shirt up over your nipple while you're listening to your bolly whopper mislead you. And that's why you broke, busted, and disgusted, single, and arguing with a married man who got a happy wife. Living a happy life. And see, this is what I'm trying to tell you. I still got standards and I still got, my wife still, she know I don't play the radio. But yet, at the same time, I was going to Zara yesterday and ended up at Celine. And from Celine, ended up at Loewe, which I used to pronounce Lowe's, Loewe's. Now, let me help you understand the difference. Zara I could have did a nice haul for $400. I ended up spending $4,000. But yet, at the same time, I'm not finna be around here busting my butt and then getting played with and disrespected. So it, even me and my household, my wife, she knows that I go out and I earn a living. So guess what? My wife has never asked me to wash the dishes. But it's some women that really will look crazy if a man provide for his household and she don't have to work, she still will expect him to wash dishes. And it's like, okay, what is you doing? What is you doing? Now, I go wash dishes sometimes on my own if my wife got a headache, but she don't ask me to wash dishes. She don't ask me to clean the house. She don't ask me to do laundry. You know why? Because she's a good woman. And she understands that if I'm going out and I'm providing for our family, that the least she could do is take care of the house. She understand that. So she don't ask me for nothing. The only thing she asks me for is what she can't do. If something is too heavy, if something is too hard to open, if something is too high, if something is too far, if it's something that or she not feeling good. You know, can you go get me something to eat? Or can you do... Like, she'll ask me when she in need. But she don't ask me out of ego. She don't ask me just to flex. She don't ask me just to, you know, like, feel like she got power and control. Like these Jezebel spirits is teaching women online. Teaching women to manipulate a man, deceive a man, use a man play with a man and, and to have him eating out of your hand because you want to feel more feminine. That's demonic. That's demonic to disrespect and play with a man. And then also just to feel like all a man need is sex. So it's like you have listening to the video. If you think that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the power of a release that's just one element. That's one That's one thing that plays into a marriage. But that ain't all that a good man gonna want because, I mean, that ain't all that he need. That ain't all that he want. And a lot of times, he ain't even gonna want that. It got power, but that ain't what we hang our hat on. Like, I'm over here right now with my son. I'm gonna be away from my wife five weeks. No orgasm. So what that tell you? And I've been married 17 years. Was promiscuous before marriage. What that tell you? But see, when you become a real man, you got that kind of discipline. When you make a decision, that decision lead to discipline. And this is what people don't realize and understand. This is what people don't realize and understand. It's caveats and nuances. So... Can a man, unless he went to school for 12 years to become a doctor, can a man, when have you ever heard a man explain the complexities in complete detail of what it feel like to have a period? To have a baby 
and to go through menopause. I rest my case. So when you ask me, so Tony, you saying ain't no woman out here giving the whole game about men? What did I just ask you? This it is physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally impossible for a woman to be able to tell you everything you need to know about a man. The same way it is physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally impossible for a man to tell you everything about a woman. So why do you think the video is one-sided? Because I'm a man telling a woman about men. Women will come on the chat when I'm doing the live Q&A and they will ask me a man a question about women. And and for those of y'all who done been here with me, what y'all hear me say? I say, I don't understand women because I'm not a woman. I understand everything about men because I'm a man and I've been around men. That's how my mind, that's what my mind understands. I'm still trying to figure out my wife. I'm still trying to learn a woman. That's the complexities of a human. So if you go to a woman to learn about men, excuse my French, but you dumb. You are dumb. You can go to a woman to learn about her experiences with her ex, with her exes. That's all she could tell you about is what she done been through. But what she say she know about men, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. And I want you to go get a grain of salt and see how big it is. Listen to what I'm telling you. That's how she got married. She stopped listening to women who think they know everything about men and understand men. And she started listening to men. She was hanging with the guys. She, she listened to her uncle who on drugs and sleep outside sometime and got married. A man who sleep outside can tell you more about a man than any woman on the face of this planet. That's common sense. It ain't no disrespect to a woman because I say the same thing about men. A woman... Who can't see or hear. Helen Keller. Could tell you more about a woman. Than any man. On the face of this planet. So why. Will we go. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. The irony of this. These men. Was going to. Men. To learn everything about a woman. Instead of learning about themselves. And how to be better men. They were going to Andrew Tate. To learn how to seduce and play and manipulate women. He was teaching them about women. Instead of about how to be a better man. How to learn and grow and heal as a man. That, so when I talk to men. That's why men get mad. Because when I talk to men. It's very little. About getting a woman. It's more so about how you treat a woman. But my message to men is about growing as a man. Stop watching porn. Stop cursing. Stop smoking weed. Stop getting drunk. Stop fornicating. Stop adulterating. That's my message to men. Stop gambling. Get your vices in order. Develop self-control. Develop discipline. That's what I talk to men about. But see... They don't want to hear that. They want to hear how to seduce and manipulate and deceive. 
So that's why they that's why they going to them other men who single and sleeping around instead of coming to a married man. Cause what they gonna hear from a married faithful man ain't what they wanna hear. So if you wanna learn about men, you go talk to a man. And he if you're a woman and he gonna tell you about men. You don't go sit and listen to no woman. If you want to learn about a woman, you go talk to a woman who got her stuff together, who, who got what you want. You want marriage, she got marriage. So a woman could tell you about what a woman need in marriage. And that's the, that's the yin to the yang. So I'm talking about what a man need in marriage. So yeah, it's going to sound selfish. It's going to sound one-sided. But when you hear about what the woman need, then you're like, oh, now this a puzzle. This come together. One hand wash the one hand wash the other and both hands wash the face. What well, one of y'all talk now? Hey, this Tony Gas and God bless. I got my window up out here. And so, you know, at this time of night, it's dark outside. So now the perverts, they sitting over there in their apartment looking over here through my window, see what's this black man holding this phone? Up for the last 40 minutes doing hand gestures. Like, who is he going off on? Or maybe he's shooting a video. Maybe he's a creator. And then I get up and in the air at night and I give him a little freak show. Yeah, take my short off. I don't see a little draw. Take a shirt off and run it around. And do my little scrub tee. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. But my son seen a boy with his balls and booty hot yesterday. I say, that boy probably done looked over here and seen me. And he, and he, he, he trying to give me a little show. Boy had a balls and booty hot. I say, boy, look here. Hey, this Tony guys, and God bless you. And see, one thing y'all got to realize real about me is I don't care. About what man got to say. When I say man, I mean mankind, men and women. I care about what God got to say. So I'm going to tell the truth even when it hurt me. The truth hurt me to tell it. I step on my own toes. So if I'm stepping on my own toes, I'm definitely going to step on everybody else's toes. But I don't care. I'm not changing the message when I know what's true. If I know what's true, I'm going to give you the game. No matter how bad it hurt, no matter how crazy it sound, I'm going to give you the game. And so this one I'm going to try to tell you. Do not let a woman tell you about a man. Because every single woman I get on the phone with and they tell me what they homegirl said, if unless it's echoing what her homeboy said or her daddy said, it be wrong. It be wrong. And, 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 and then a lot of times when women give it, now I'm going to tell y'all something that a lot of women won't tell you, but I don't seen women go viral giving my advice, but they won't say, I heard this from Tony Gaskin on YouTube, but see, I know me because I know how I word things. I know how I talk in parables like Jesus did. I know how I teach things, how I put things together. I know, I know my teachings and I don't seen two or three women go viral. I'm talking about 100,000 likes teaching my message. And so they came to a man, learned it from a man, and then went and taught it like they came up with it. But when you a man, you know what come from a man because you because you know what women automatically know and understand because look at how many millions of women are being played and manipulated and deceived every day. If a woman automatically knew the game, then no woman would be getting played. No woman would be a single mother. No woman would be a divorcee. No woman would go through anything at the hands of a man because she would have saw it coming before it came. But a woman goes in hoping, believing, trusting, loving, and then she finds that this man is full of crap. And so that's why I'm on here giving away the game so that you could see the crap instead of having to step in the crap. I'm showing you, hey, you see that pile of doodle right there? 
Don't step in it. But see, when you listening to these Bollywood women who butt hurt or they, or they Jezebel spirit, they finna have you walk right through the crowd. Because they're going to alleviate one problem and cause another. They're going to have it to where you and Turks and Caicos, all expenses paid, and you got money and, and all your bills paid, but they also going to have it to where the man you with touching on your daughter, the man you with sleeping with your sister, the man you with got a baby from his cousin, the man you with is getting dang lane put in him. But, but, but you got a Range Rover. You in Turks and Caicos and Anguilla and the Maldives. You got a Birkin bag, baby. You got a G-Wagon. But your man in Angelane put in him. That's the type of man that these Jezebel spirits is leading y'all to. The most nasty perverts like karaoke Lee just was with. Is that what you want? Is, is you that broke minded that you can't go out and earn your own living that you want to be with Jeffrey Epstein cousin just to have a bill paid? Is that the desperate life you want to live? That's what the term desperate housewife come from. It means that you so dumb, so weak, so lost, so broken, so trauma ridden that you will do anything to get a man who will take care of you financially. <laughs> but which one of these women telling y'all about having a man who will be there spiritually and emotionally and then understanding that the byproduct of those things being in order and you being his teammate then y'all gonna produce the money. Y'all gonna produce the fruit. See, these women want you to go get a man who done built the whole, who done planted and cultivated a whole garden by himself. And then you really think, knowing the nature of man, you know the nature of man. So if you know the nature of man, do you really think you can trust a man who is a millionaire without your help. <laughs> Unless he is a devout man of God. But it, it really don't even work like that. A, a, a devout man of God can't even, is not even going to pursue being a millionaire without having a wife. Because the, because the one thing the Bible say a man find is a wife. The Bible don't say a man find YouTube and a, a man find a podcast, a man find money. The Bible say a man finds a wife. So a man of God, he can't even sleep good if he's not looking for his wife. The only way he equate the Apostle Paul is if he is traveling the world like Apostle Paul teaching the gospel. And he is writing books that will set the captives free, that will bring people closer to Christ. That's the only way that he is not looking for no wife. He is spreading the word of God. And, and the only single man I see doing that right now is the rapper D1. He doing the best he can. And I know D1 personally. He doing the best he can to spread the word of God. That's the only, and I don't know if he's single. I, I just have not seen a wife, but that is the only one. He's so tied up. Now nah, I text him the other day. He ain't text back because he all around the country spreading a righteous message. That's the only one I see. Other people who single and claim to be Christian, they teaching stuff, but not the word of God. So that's different. That's not Apostle Paul. If you teaching and you just teaching knowledge, but it ain't got nothing to do with drawing, bringing people to Christ, then that ain't 
you, you can't say you living like Apostle Paul because you ain't living like Apostle Paul. Point blank, period, odd. It just is what it is. It just is what it is. Just, the message just is what it is. I don't get to, I don't get to write it. I don't get to choose it. It just is what it is. So then I'm trying to tell you. If you let a woman finesse you and make you think that you finna go get a man with who is loaded with money and your life just finna be laid in the shade because you know how to suck a little thing and you know how to bust it wide open or you know how to cook or you know how to clean or you know how to wear six inch heels, you know how to put together perfumes, you know how to do your weed, do your makeup. You thinking you finna go get a man with money and it finna be gravy? <laughs> baby, I'm tell you like your grandma, baby. You got another thing coming. What don't come out in the wash gonna come out in the rinse, baby. You can't believe everything you see. A man ain't finna let you be the queen of his castle. If you ain't help build it, I'm going to tell you that now. That's what your grandma will tell you. And that right there, that based on experience, you could take that to the bank. You could take that to the bank. And, and you realize, grandma ain't going to tell you no. Grandma ain't got no YouTube channel. Grandma ain't going to do too much talking because she don't understand too much because she done been through it with men. But she got a, she got a few little lines for you. That'll set you free. That's the women. That's the women you listen to. The women who wise enough to say, "I don't know everything, but I know this," and I definitely don't know enough to have no YouTube channel telling you about no man. But I know this. And when she tell, when she wise enough to tell you, a man ain't gonna let you sit down at his table with open legs, an empty stomach, and a fork. And think you finna just ride into the sunset. Absolutely not. Not unless you prepare to be a slave. You finna be a slave. You was finna be a slave. And so the thing about it is, you catch these women out here and they get these men in the third trimester of their life. They get these men who is closer to the grave than the birth canal. They getting ready to kick the bucket any day now and you see them getting flown around the world. Them women got to pull a capital out that man penis to give him fellatio. If that's the life you want for a vacation, if that ain't the, a Jezebel spirit, I don't know what is. Women got the world at their fingertips today. And women are becoming millionaires every day. A woman don't need a man for money. So if you want to, if you just focus on having a man with money, you're going to be miserable. You need a man with character that is priceless. And together, y'all going to get money. Even if you ain't helping him come up with the ideas, you being his support and you being in the trenches with him. That's an uncomfortable truth that a lot of women don't want to hear. And for those of y'all who say, well, I'd rather be single, you on the wrong page. Because this ain't a page for being complacent in the single life. This is a page of being prepared for when your spouse come. Not knowing Sarah ain't had that baby till 95. Your spouse might not come till 70. Your spouse might not come till 60. Your spouse might not come till 80. We don't know when your spouse coming, but you preparing for your husband or your wife. That's what this channel, when we talk about relationship, that's what it's about. It ain't about just staying single forever and hating on relationship advice because if you hate on relationship advice, get off my channel, stay out my comments because I'm going to block you if I see you because... You could go just listen to a business channel then. Go listen to a, a, what you call it? A finance channel. This right here, when we address a relationship, the goal is marriage. The goal is marriage, and it's an equal marriage. It's a two-sided marriage. It ain't nowhere 
one by one person coming up off the other person. It's an equal union where both people come into the table with a pure and a genuine heart, ain't trying to play no games, ain't trying to finesse, ain't trying to be overly fake feminine, overly fake masculine, and playing games to get ahead. It is about a healthy, genuine, loving union where two people going to come together and be teammates under God and going to build the life that God has in store for them to build. That's what this here channel about. This ain't about no men finessing women and women finessing men. Yes, we're going to serve each other. And it's people going to misconstrue that as finessing. Service ain't finessing. Don't get it twisted. That's why you got to have spiritual discernment. And that's why you got to understand caveats and nuances. This is what you got to realize. Hey, this is Tony Gaston. God bless you. I don't know the title on this because sometimes when you get too many parts, YouTube, you know, they, they won't push it. So you got to title it differently for them to, for them to recognize it in the algorithm. So this might be titled something else. We'll talk soon. God bless you.